Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's Marta here. It's super early in the morning. I have this beautiful card I recently made over my live classes on the Facebook page. And I will be coming over to my YouTube channel with more live classes uh, for, for YouTube. Uh, but today is super early in the morning. I just want to start my day with creating some cards. I do have some editing work. Uh, but I thought I will just quickly record the video. I'm aiming myself for a 20 minute timer and I have this leftover piece from my um, last classes. I've also made some flowers, so I have these ready and I have some couple elements left over leaves from my uh, from my other uh, life class I was doing on a Sunday. So am I gonna tr uh, make it in 20 minutes? We'll see but definitely something which I am encouraging everyone to set yourself a timer from time to time because this is a good exercise for uh, decision making, especially if you're like me, you like to, you know, overthink every single bit of your card. So um, that's why I thought, okay, I'm gonna do something nice, but I'll try to keep myself within a time check. So I'm not gonna be spending too much time on it. So let's get started, okay, my lovely friends. I do have, oh, I'm gonna press the start uh, for the time to start ticking. And I'll just quickly tell you, this is a four and a quarter by eight inches, I believe, paper. And I'm gonna use that for my uh, mat and layer for my panel. So I want to, my card to match the size of this panel. And for that, I am grabbing my um my scoring board and let me see am i just happy how the border looks like here something like that so that's mean i should score my card at four and a half uh, so it's not gonna be exactly um double length but a little bit wider and now my time is ticking and i don't have my scoring tool oh here's a spare one Oh no, that's the one I was looking for. Okay, so four and a half. Oh, 19 minutes left. So I've decided to make a quick card because I need to do a bunch of the editing. And I am just about to release a new digital collection as well. And for that, I need to make a bunch of inspiration. But I didn't wanna leave you without any video and anything. So I thought, Okay, Marta, you're drinking your morning coffee. So let's have a quick make something pretty, something to, you know, start a good day. Oh, I think I've did it a little bit uneven. So let me chop it a second time. Ugh. I love this linen color, uh, linen finish cardstock. This is a very sturdy, nice textured paper. Now, so what I'm having here, I have this piece and then I will have to trim this one. And they both are, uh, both of these pieces are coming from my collections, uh, digital collections. And these are for you to print and uh, for your own printing. Uh, so all the links of the products I am using, I will try to link them uh, down below in the description area. But just to let you know, okay, so um, I think I'm having it here. Oh, 17. I always feel a little bit more pressure whenever I have, uh, you know, something set up on the timer. Uh, so it's a little bit more, you know, pressuring than, than normal creation. But I think it will be worth it anyway. I found this uh, very, very old um, punch and I've got it as a present. So I'm not sure whether they are still available or not. I'll have a look. And I thought, uh, oh no, and even Marta, I should probably put it on my glass mat, but then I'm just scared that it's going to be shaking my camera. So if it does, please accept my apologies for it. How is this not fitting? What is wrong here? Oh, there we go. No way. Is that looking nice? Yes. Oh, there's something blocking the entrance here. Oh, right. Okay. That all the way down. Okay. 
to make sure that whenever you're using any type of the corner rounder you actually push through all the way down because otherwise you're not gonna have this even layering okay and i'm sorry it's definitely shaking up my camera but i don't have the other place to mount my um my camera arm but i hope i mean i hope i have got the plan once we finally move into our home because uh, we're now on a rental property once we finally move to our home i will then have my own studio i could make the holes and everything in the walls and no longer on the rental property so i will have this proper mount to the wall so whenever i'm doing on here it won't affect it now i've got these pieces here and i want to use the sentiment i actually have the sentiment still in my in my uh, stamping tool because that's what was the sentiment i've used it on my on my last card and i kind of like it very much so let me just see if i could quickly restamp it here this is the piece of the scrap paper i was testing that punch because i've just found it in a in a box and let me just move that okay so i could then reuse it perfect now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab a piece of the of the baby powder this is just to get rid of the static from the from the paper so if you are new uh, to the crafting and embossing powder this is why many crafters is using this either uh, anti-static bag or like a embosser tool these are looking like that but i'm just you know uh, sometimes I'm using the ball of the powder it doesn't really matter anything you use which is taking the uh, static off from the from the paper because once we touch the paper we always have the old oily skin or something and then the powder these little particles they tend to you know just stick everywhere not only to the sentiment once we stamp they will stamp mainly stick to the sentiment but sometimes when you stamp and sprinkle with your embossing powder you may get the powder coming everywhere absolutely like you know having those little bits so for that in order to prevent it we use the anti-static uh, tools or powders or, or anything like that so let me sprinkle. Shall I go with the gold again? I don't know. Maybe yes, because it's got this nice orangey tone. And I think this will complementary with the gold powder. So here I'm just uh, sprinkle it. Just a flicker a little bit. And voila, I've got it perfectly stamped, nicely sprinkled. And okay, I could heat up some bubble here okay and now let's heat this one Let's grab some scissors. Where do I have my good cutting scissors? Oh no. Oh no, Marta. Okay, this one will be good. Right, so I need to cut it out. I'm gonna start from chopping it off so it's make it easier. <gasps> We're 10 minutes in, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I can make it. I'm probably talking too much, uh, but I don't wanna you know do a voiceover later on because i rather upload the video and create another one for you uh, and i do have a couple of the beautiful uh, things to show you as well and i've made a new flower video so for that just to let you know everyone who's watching every friday 
from now on i will aim to post the flowery tutorial so there'll be a, i think this week there will be a greenery coming because i didn't do it last time so i'll show you how am i doing those green uh, you know elements to go with your flowers some leaves from the foam and uh, things like that so we're gonna take all the greenery and then next week i will show you how i've made these and by the way just to let you know uh, and i'll show you that in a second i just need to focus on cutting this one. Oh no i'm not gonna make it i'm too slow i've just got so much used to cutting everything with the brother scan and cut machine that i'm just like i'm getting useless <laughs> in cutting with my scissors but no i mean i still like it but it's just i feel like uh, i've start relying more and more on the on the brother machine which is a huge time saver definitely okay i've got that thankful for and we're gonna have a you in a second and i'll show you something which i think it could be interesting for you a little bit uh, so this flower is same as this flower i've got a few here look on that all of these three flowers, they were actually made with the same dye, with the same, uh, exactly the same dye. Uh, I've cut the foam bases from it. So by shaping them differently, uh, you'll be able to get, you know, different result. So definitely, if you're interested, hop on to the Friday series, because that's a new series. Uh, and I've decided that rather than being all over the place, I want to bring more structure to my YouTube channel. I will be doing some live classes once a week and then there will be uh, this flower making series and we'll see how we get on. Let me know in a comment, if you're watching my friend, let me know which of the, of the series you've been watching so far is more enjoyable for you are you like the cards from scraps or what else you enjoying the most so this way i'll know we on which one i shall concentrate more because at the end of the day uh, creating a youtube channel it's not always about what we want like as a creator yes we share our ideas our our things but the main purpose of having the youtube channel is to serve the community so if i will be creating something i truly like but no one else will be interested in it uh, no one will watch it and as a creators we want our channels to grow i'm looking for the glue and i'm panicking oh no i've got i've got oh collal will do why not collal will be good oh no here's the ball um, i think i didn't drink enough coffee yet <laughs> <laughs> can't see anything so what i'm gonna do i will lift this one with the double-sided foam tape so that will give me this nice rice edge oh look out and uh, what i was going to say that having the youtube channel is about serving community and creating the videos which are insp inspirational for you and are interesting for you so i really care about your opinion i really care about what you think about my channel and uh, you know what you think about the videos so if you're watching please 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 let me know my friends uh, that you would like to see what type of the videos would you like to see would you like to see more continuation of cards with the scraps or would you like to see you know um, some more build-up cards definitely i am looking forward or mixed media projects as well i do love creating mixed media projects art journal this is something i've been bringing a little bit from time to time onto my channel but where's the bottle where is the bottle marta oh do you know what i need a sip of coffee oh, no 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 stay 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 i didn't press it enough come on and i'm adding a dash of the liquid glue to my foam tape for two purposes firstly it is easier to slide the paper around on your card so you can then just you know move it teeny tiny bit until you're super happy with the placement so for that i am adding the glue and then 
second purpose and shall I lift it up as well I think I'm gonna do that I think and secondly some of the tapes they are tending to dry out with the time so you can you know use a tape everything your card turns beautiful but after some time like after I don't know five years or something the glue on the tape because it's dry adhesive uh, it can dry out and I've seen that on my own eyes that I've got the box of the cards which I was creating ages ago and then all of them they just start falling apart uh, once we were moving from one place to another I've grabbed the old box with the cards I was making years ago and as I've mentioned and I was as I was walking through the cards, some of the cards, especially the one which I didn't use the liquid glue. And the liquid glue, once it's bound, it's bound to the paper. But these dry tapes, like double-sided tape or double-sided foam tape, these are sometimes just drying out. Okay, I'm hoping I'm not bo boring you with my talk, but um, I don't wanna have this like awkward silence when I'm recording this video, which I aim to post like, you know, real time. So for that, um, I'm just chatting a little bit more. Now I've got these leaves, which I think, oh, there's my hair. Uh, okay, now I need to chop that one. And just, okay, oops. That's just fell off and then another one. Which one I can use? This one? Yes, I think they will be looking nice here. And this is the flower I've made the other day. I leave them dry and I always secure this back side with the dab of the glue. So even when I cut off those pieces on the back, so my, uh, my, paper, uh, my paper, my flower could stay up it's still you know holding here because i've got a bunch of the glue now what i'm gonna do i will aim i need to have a space for a sentiment thankful for you oh yes that'll be like that so what i'm gonna do i think i will start from the sentiment anyway so oh three minutes i am start panicking i'm not gonna have enough time to finish it but as I've mentioned, this is just, you know, exercise. This is just something which I think because we put the timer on, we're just like, okay, I'm not overthinking it. I'm just gluing it as it is. And this little bit of the pressure is just something, you know, very handy, especially if you're like me, if you've got the problem that you are overthinker. It's not really a problem. I think the overthinking card is just coming from the point where uh, you want to create something, you know, as pretty as you can. Like, you know, you're making a card for your friend, for someone, you know, on a special occasions, and you're not overthinking. You're actually trying to create, you know, something which, you know, it will be for them to enjoy and maybe like keep for, uh, will be this, piece of the keepsake for treasuring their like you know important day or something if this is like a wedding card uh, or something like that so there's nothing wrong in overthinking but sometimes we just need to you know move on and that's why i've decided today i'm starting my day even though i've got plenty of the work to do and i also have some design team work to do as well but I'm starting this day from creating something nice, something pretty, something I will love and something I hope you will love as well, because this is the card for you, because I'm super happy and I'm super thankful for all of you here, especially that recently there's been so many new friends who joined my channel. So I just wanted to make something nice for you. And maybe, yes, why not? Why not doing that? my friends leave a comment down below whoever will leave the comment i will pick one of the winner and i will send you the card what would you say for that is that a good deal for you <laughs> let me know 
yes please please just uh, you know leave a comment down below and then we're gonna get in touch outside the outside the youtube and if you're happy it doesn't matter if you're living in uk or not if you're living outside the rest of the world i will post this card for you because i'm so thankful for you joining my channel and i am so thankful for you watching my videos okay i'm talking too much because i've got 52 seconds so i know i'm not gonna make it but i hope that one minute extra you know oh this i've put too much glue and the foam is now sliding but it will adhere once the adhesive will um the liquid glue will dry up a little bit but it's just sliding all over no way no way ah ah you're giving me hard time today so i'm not gonna complete my task 20 seconds no this is incredible the other day i've made that 15 cards in one hour and now i can't complete one in in 20 minutes but it's just happening i just want to make it super pretty okay so two minutes stop stop no way oh cancel why am i oh okay okay so i restarted back again but we're not gonna be here 20 minutes i just know how many minutes i will pass after uh oh and then i'm just gonna add a blob of the glue so i could uh, attach my flowers just like that okay they're gonna be looking nice and then a couple of the leaves so i could have this nice so maybe we're gonna be one minute past it it does not matter it's not always you know just because you're doing 20 minutes you have to have to do it in 20 minutes sometimes if you need a second if i would not be talking too much probably i would fill it in within the time frame but hey ho oh well now i've got a couple of these and i think i'm gonna be using them as well just to have something you know extra to go i was planning to emboss these uh, but They'll be looking nice as as they are anyway. So I've got the uh, something like here. And don't be afraid afraid to tear your elements like leaves and stuff. If you need to divide them into a smaller section, just do that. That's not a trouble. Mm. Okay, and we are almost there almost there because i want to add a few more of the leaves mm. okay so my card is ready and i hope you enjoy it i hope you like it i hope this is something which will spark some joy uh, with you maybe one last thing i will do to make it even more prettier i think i'm gonna add the string to the side why is this crinkle on one side oh. okay stay in the center and then so we're gonna have not 20 but 25 minutes oh well for such a nice card i think it's it's okay it is okay you know okay i'm adding a little bit of the glue just to help it secure and then once i have it i'm gonna glue it right here just so i could have some extra texture something nice to go with the card and voila my card is ready and maybe since we are doing it nicer oh i'll go with this one i really like this pearly one so i think they will be completing it nicely just make sure i'm getting rid of the hot glue string and then let me just do a couple of the nuva drops uh, in this pearl color so they could 
you know, make it even prettier. So leave me a comment down below, my friends, and I will pick up one winner and I will post the card to you. And you've got the time, what's the day? You've got a time to the Sunday. So there's a few days to watch the video. Whoever is watching, what's the date on a Sunday? I'm looking on the calendar. That's going to be 14, 14 of August. Okay, so whoever is watching the video up till 14 August 22, leave me a comment down below and I will post this lovely card to you. So we've made it in less than 25 minutes then. I am canceling my timer. I don't need it anymore, but this is my beautiful make of this morning to keep myself inspired, to keep myself through the day. So thank you so much for watching. I am wishing you all a fabulous day. Stay blessed, my friends, and bye-bye.